Welcome back guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification button so you can keep getting cool content like this in the future. Okay. So let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. I would um I like to make some corrections for the eye. So go to the inner eye. So I like to add some veins. I like to add some veins around this. I think there's a brush. I think there's a brush that can enable us to do that. So I'll just create a new fill layer. Increase the roughness for this. <clears throat> Is more is more of a reddish tone. Add the black marks. Name this to eye veins. Okay. I think I'll go to the brush. I think I'll just use crack. If I tap in crack, I should be able to see something in there that we can use. Okay. This looks like a good one. Take down the brush size. Increase the brush size a bit more. Get a bit of to get larger ones around it. Okay. Let's visualize. Okay, I like to have some normal map, height map to this. It does be too much. Something like this, and I'll blow. Add the blow filter to it. Maybe not so much, something like this should be fine. Okay. Let me try something. Let me add another filter. Let me add bevel filter to this turn of this blur. Nah, this is not going to work, I think. My regular blow should be just fine. Okay, I can't even see... I can't even see it's coming out of this... Let's turn this blow out a bit more. Let's get some in. Okay, add the blow filter. Reduce your okay. It blow it some more. Okay, it should be fine. Maybe let's add. That's way too much. No, that's way too much. Maybe something, <clears throat> something like that should be fine. Click and save. So ideally, it was, was supposed to be supposed to be texturing this color piece in here. Okay. Let's 
okay right, so let's get to it there's really not much to be done in there though so um next best okay uh i have a few textures i can bring in here those drag and drop this in here I think one should be texture some of these are alpha number three should be texture file number three with texture file the rest should be alpha reports okay it's going to be bringing these skills to bring that as a texture file reports okay so let's start by adding a fabric material to this piece mm. this one should be a bit of leather and the rest so i'll go to smart material see if we get the fabric texture we can use in here no jammy jeans no let's go to materials instead Let's try this on. Let's set this to focus resolution. Tile this some more. Okay. So I want to be using a dark color for this somewhere around the dark blue somewhere around dark blue or something like this should be fine but i don't want this all over the place so i'm going to specify where i want this to be applied so I'm going to add the black marks in here. Put my what's it called polygon fill, mesh fill. I will select select this mesh. Okay. Hmm. Maybe maybe I should make it a bit brighter. The brighter blue to it. So you can pick this color. Darken it some more. Okay, something like this should, should be fine. Okay, I'll duplicate this layer. All the black marks in there. No, 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 I don't want to duplicate this layer. I'll create a new layer instead. Now I'll pick this same color, but something a bit towards the darker side. Increase the roughness some more. 
uh, di Black Max Adifiliatsu uh, Dats Max Just use the BW Use this instead Okay Let's go for something a bit darker I think I need to remove this remove this marks remove is that remove move marks I'm gonna see how this is affecting it <clears throat> so let's go to the fill layer set this to try planar mapping I feel a bit weird. Let's play with the balance. Okay. Okay. Add the filter, add the blood to this. Like it should be fine. Maybe take this down some more. Seems like so should be fine. Okay. Then I'm going to use. I'm gonna add a material to this. Let me duplicate this first. No, 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 I don't need to duplicate that. I just need to, let me, you know, use a gold. Gold material in here, apply it on top of this. Okay. And add the black marks to it. Add a few layers to that marks. Then I need to go to textures. Sync. Uh, yes, this texture O3. Put this in here. No, typing it looks weird. So planar map we should be a better one. Okay. And I'll add a levels adjustment to it. I still want to see the color that is underneath it some more. So something like this. Can we add a bit of height to it? Okay. Okay, something like this should be fine. Should probably tile tile this some more. Let's try five. Oh, that's way too small. Two. So, okay, something like this should be fine. Then I'll put all of this in a group. Add the black marks. And I can just select this. It should be applied only on this piece. Like so should be fine for now. And I want to use a laid out piece for this. Let me just name this to fabric. Okay. 
smart material type in leather okay not really entirely sure which part of leather to use now for this okay let me use mine leather boots drag this on here But I only want to use this for the taping around the neck. I only want to use this for the taping. So add the black marks to that. Add a fill. Select this mesh. It's taping around it. So I'm just adding that. Just the taping around it. That should work fine for the taping. Okay. Then for this piece, let's just do um, the XA first. Put this somewhere around here for now. Okay, so I'm going to smart materials. Okay, I have this bronze. You have copper also in here. I think this bronze piece should work a bit better. So I'll just go and drag and rub this on top. Okay. Okay. All the black marks. I will select this piece. Well, I want to be using this more of a dollar color for it. So let's go in here. I think. Duplicate this layer. It's something a bit dull, like so, like so should be fine. Let's see. A good piece, a good piece here. There's a good piece here. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop this on top. Then I have the black marks in there. Then I go to Alpha. Think. Let's try paint dragon in here. So I can use one of this I already mapped out. Think. Should them try. Let's try. Let me try this one. Um. Oh. So doesn't seem to be capturing it properly though. Try this instead. Seems weird. Why do I have to drag this for it to appear? Take down the spacing. That's the strangest thing. You know, I have to drag this for this to appear. Why do I have to drag this for it to appear? Hmm. 
you're supposed to be able to drag this for this to appear. Why is this? Okay, let me use my pen to instead. Probably increase the height normal for this. So if we got where his stuff is facing. Take this down. I think I may need to rotate this some more. I think this seems to be in a good place. Okay. So it's kind of since we can always go back here and then adjust this side however it was. Well, I guess why am I getting two of this in there? I like to have just one. Great. Probably check. Should probably check. How this is being stamped on top of it. Let's use let's try camera. Okay, I'm going to rotate this. So I'm knowing why just let me see if I can find we have something almost good enough but on this other side it doesn't look too good it doesn't look too good it doesn't look very symmetrical it's not looking very symmetrical so we need to work this so I'm going to add the black marks for the entire thing let's see if we can make it work on the 2D view. It's completely off. Uh, let's see what we have from the. Let's see what, let's see what we have on the 3D view. Okay, turn off symmetry for now. See, if we can get something around here.
Yeah, I think we can believe we can live with this. So I'll duplicate this also. Add the black marks to it. And that looks a bit weird. Add the black marks. Okay, let me just create a new one. I think I can just drag and drop this on top of it. Add the black marks and just select this. Well, let me use this, name this to taper. Mm, let me add it for let me see. I think let me just try using this bronze on here. Uh, um, okay. Uh, not too sure. Let's let me duplicate. I'm not too sure. Okay, let's just use this and then probably take this down. It's something a bit dull. Maybe I'm not too shiny. Probably something not too shiny. So this this should work. Okay. Let's get some shadows in here. Okay, yeah, more or less. This, this. That was not, not necessarily going to be visible though. We're going to be having our short mostly somewhere around here, like so. Short will be somewhere around. Maybe even somewhere around here. I think that's, that should just be fine for now. So I'll do a quick save. Then in the next lesson, we're going to start exporting all of this out. Turn this out. Uh, I feel like I need some contrast down here. Let me need some contrast down here. Uh, maybe let's see. Um, it should be the fabric piece. Okay, this one will just do that on top of it. Take this down some more. Duplicate this. Maybe even push this towards brighter. It was a brighter bluish tone. Something around the nature of this should be fine. Okay, seems something like this. Just to give it some bit more contrast. Because it won't look too nice if we have these two colors 
very close to themselves. Think something like this should be fine. Okay. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.